Welcome to our show, The China Briefing, where we dive into the swirling currents of global politics and economics with a light-hearted touch, aiming to keep you both informed and entertained. Let's embark on today's journey through the latest news, shall we? In our first segment, we're zooming in on the geopolitical dance floor where China, Russia, Japan, and the AUKUS alliance are all taking their turns under the spotlight. Reports are swirling about the US raising eyebrows at China for cozying up to Russia, especially when it comes to military goodies amidst the Ukraine crisis. Meanwhile, the AUKUS alliance, a club initially formed by the US, UK, and Australia, is looking to expand its guest list in Asia, with Japan, South Korea, and Singapore possibly getting invites. But, as you might expect, not everyone's thrilled about the party plans, China's giving Japan the side eye over its potential AUKUS membership, worried it might kick off an arms race in the region. Next, we're crossing over to a tale of two challenges, President Biden's executive action spree in the US and the looming global oil glut predicted by 2025, thanks to a slowdown in China's thirst for the black gold. Biden's playing the action hero, tackling student loan debt and gun control, while also eyeing the border security beast. Across the waters, the world's gearing up for an oil surplus, with China's slowing demand and a nifty shift towards electric vehicles and high-speed trains. It's a plot twist in the global energy saga, highlighting the ever-changing dynamics of our interconnected world. Finally, we're taking a detour into the world of traditional globe-making, where London's Peter Bellaby is spinning the planet into exquisite works of art, despite the political quagmires. Meanwhile, the US and UK are shaking the metal market with new trade restrictions on Russian-origin metals, aiming to put a dent in Russia's wallet. It's a fascinating contrast of the tangible globes that ground us in our physical world and the strategic moves on the global economic chessboard. So, as we navigate through the intricate dance of geopolitics, economic shifts, and the artistry that connects us to our planet, stay tuned for the detailed scoop on all these stories. Please, keep watching for more in-depth content. In a world increasingly defined by geopolitical tensions and alliances, the dynamics of international relations are constantly evolving. Recent revelations and analyses from reputable sources like Deutsche Welle and South China Morning Post offer a glimpse into the shifting landscape, particularly concerning the roles of China, Russia, Japan, and the AUKUS alliance. According to Deutsche Welle, the United States has raised alarms over China's involvement in bolstering Russia's military capabilities amidst the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Senior US officials have pointed out that China is not only supplying drone and missile technology to Russia but is also sharing crucial satellite imagery. This support is seen as a lifeline for the Kremlin, which has faced considerable setbacks since its invasion of Ukraine in 2022. The specifics of the aid include sales of drone and turbojet engines, machine tools, microelectronics, and optical components. Furthermore, China's provision of nitrocellulose, a key ingredient in weapon propellants, underscores the depth of its involvement. Despite these allegations, the Chinese embassy in the US has dismissed the claims, urging the US not to meddle in what it describes as normal trade relationships between China and Russia. The geopolitical chessboard is also being rearranged in the Pacific, with the potential expansion of the AUKUS alliance, as reported by the South China Morning Post. The alliance, initially formed by Australia, the United Kingdom, and the United States, is eyeing expansion into Asia, with Japan, South Korea, and Singapore identified as potential partners. This move could significantly boost the alliance's capabilities, given these nations increased military budgets, advanced militaries, and strategic geographic locations. However, China has expressed strong reservations about Japan's potential involvement in AUKUS, citing concerns over nuclear proliferation and an escalation of the arms race in the region. Despite these concerns, the economic ties between China and Japan remain robust, with China being Japan's largest trading partner. The possibility of Japan joining AUKUS has stirred considerable debate. While Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has maintained that nothing has been decided at this moment, the mere possibility has been enough to alarm Beijing. China's apprehension stems from a fear that Japan's alignment with US-led security structures could further strain the already tense relations between China and Japan, exacerbated by territorial disputes and disagreements over environmental issues. 
The expansion of AUKUS and the inclusion of Asian partners like Japan, South Korea, and Singapore could indeed reshape the security dynamics in the region. This next phase of the alliance is expected to focus on cutting-edge technologies such as hypersonic weapons, quantum computing, and undersea capabilities. However, the United States' restrictions on sharing technological secrets present a significant hurdle for collaboration with nations outside the original AUKUS framework. In conclusion, the intertwining narratives of military aid, alliance expansion, and technological cooperation underscore the complex and ever-changing nature of international relations. As the United States seeks to counterbalance China's influence and support for Russia, the potential expansion of AUKUS into Asia represents a strategic pivot that could have far-reaching implications for regional security and global power dynamics. Amidst these developments, the responses of nations involved, from outright rejection to cautious consideration, reflect the delicate balancing act of diplomacy in an increasingly polarized world. In the ever-evolving landscape of global politics and economics, leaders and markets are making moves that could shape the future in profound ways. From the corridors of power in Washington, D.C., to the bustling economic hubs of China and the volatile arenas of the stock markets, the world is in a state of flux, grappling with challenges and seizing opportunities. Bloomberg reports that President Joe Biden, with an eye on the 2024 election and a determination to fulfill his campaign promises, is taking bold steps through executive action. In a move that underscores his commitment to addressing pressing issues without solely relying on the often gridlocked Congress, Biden has taken measures to forgive more student loan debt and close the gunshow loophole for firearms sales. Moreover, his contemplating issuing an executive order to tighten border security, a move that is bound to stir controversy and possibly face legal challenges. These actions, though likely to appeal to the Democratic base and particularly younger voters who have voiced their frustration with Biden, underscore the complex dance of governance where ambition meets the realities of legal and political constraints. Across the Pacific, Nikkei Asia sheds light on a different kind of challenge. The International Energy Agency, IEA, forecasts a global oil glut by 2025, attributed largely to a slowdown in Chinese demand. This anticipated oversupply, marking the first glut in two years, is expected as China's daily oil demand growth slows, amidst the nation's flagging economic growth and the rapid adoption of oil-substituting technologies like electric vehicles and high-speed rail. This scenario presents a stark contrast to the current global energy crunch, highlighting the dynamic nature of global economic forces and the pivotal role of China in the world's energy markets. These developments, spanning the political, economic, and financial spheres, illustrate the interconnected nature of global events. President Biden's use of executive action speaks to the challenges of governance in a deeply divided country, while the anticipated oil glut in 2025 highlights the shifting dynamics of global energy markets. Similarly, the recent stock market downturn reflects the complex interplay of corporate performance, investor sentiment, and macroeconomic factors. Together, these stories paint a picture of a world at a crossroads, facing both challenges and opportunities, with the decisions made today likely to have far-reaching consequences for the future. In an era where digital maps are at our fingertips, the allure of the traditional globe remains undiminished, a testament to our timeless fascination with the world around us. The South China Morning Post introduces us to Peter Bellaby, a London-based globemaker who has turned this fascination into a thriving business. Since 2008, Bellaby and his team of artists, cartographers, and woodworkers have been crafting globes that are not just tools for navigation but symbols of connection to our planet. Yet, this craft is not without its challenges. As Bellaby points out, the process of creating a globe is akin to navigating a political minefield, with disputed borders and sensitive countries making the task daunting. Despite these obstacles, Bellaby's globes have found their way into the hands of families, businesses, heads of state, and even movie makers, with prices ranging from £1,300 to nearly £66,000 for the elaborate 50-inch Churchill model. It's a clear indication that, in a world rapidly moving towards digitalization, 
the desire to find our place in the cosmos through something as tangible and meticulously crafted as a globe endures. Meanwhile, in the realm of international trade, the Associated Press reports a significant development that sees the US and UK taking a stand against Russia by imposing restrictions on the trade of Russian origin metals, including aluminum, copper, and nickel. This move is part of a broader strategy to curtail Russia's revenue from metal exports, which have netted the country $40 billion over the past two years. The restrictions, which are set to impact global metal exchanges and derivatives trading, are designed not to affect metals produced before the specified cutoff time. This decision aligns with previous actions taken by the US and EU, including sanctions on Russia's top banks and the freezing of assets belonging to the country's central bank. It's a clear message from the international community, reflecting the ongoing tensions and the complexities of global trade in today's geopolitical landscape. Both of these stories, while vastly different in their subject matter, underscore the intricate interplay between politics, trade, and personal interests that characterizes our modern world. From the crafting of globes that must delicately navigate the sensitivities of national borders, to the imposition of trade restrictions designed to influence international relations, these narratives reveal the multifaceted nature of global interactions. Whether it's through the creation of a globe that helps us find our place in the world or through trade policies that seek to address broader geopolitical issues, the underlying theme is one of connection and complexity. In a world that's increasingly interconnected, these stories remind us of the challenges and the beauty found in our attempts to understand and engage with the planet and its people. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.